Hi everyone and welcome along. I'm uh, in Ashford today. I've just had to drop a family member down the road for um, a medical appointment and um, it's not a very good day despite, uh, you can see a little bit of highlights up here, but despite that it is actually quite overcast um, and uh, it looks like it's just about to rain. The wind's um, picking up a little bit. Very grey, very miserable. Um, ideal for photography <laughs> so uh, I just thought I'd go out with my camera I've bought today with me my um, little Panasonic Lumix uh, FZ200 um, there is quite an interesting bridge literally just um, just up over there just across the, the way from where I'm parked at the moment and um, I thought I'd go across and get some shots of that hopefully um, should be able to get some good shots i'm thinking black and white um a bit moody today so that might work well um i'm gonna give it give it a go um i will also uh video a few bits and pieces on the camera um i won't be able to have any sound because it's going to be um going to be too windy but i might um might be able to do a little bit of voiceover or something but let's go along uh, have a look see what we can do Yeah, so unfortunately it was a little bit too windy outside to record some audio mm -hmm. and uh, didn't have a little furry hat for my microphone. So um, just doing a little bit of a voice over here. So we're just leaving uh, one of the industrial estates, climbing up the steps onto the main bridge. And here, as you as you can see on the, on the bridge, it's comprised of uh, two really big steel columns um, that are connected via cables and uh, the footbridge is actually suspended from below those um, those large beams and um, it spans the M20 in Ashford and there's a motorway there and it actually links these two industrial units so on one side um, is an industrial unit with supermarket and a few other shops and then over the other side are various other retail units and um, yeah I think this bridge was built in 2011 I believe and um, there you go you can see see the cables there that are joining the two sections of the bridge and also uh, supporting the the actual footpath running across and um, you know as I said it's uh, suitable for pedestrians and cyclists so people cycle along the bridge as well as walk along it um, but I just like the design of this and I think it would be great to capture some nice black and white images and um, see what we can get. Well I'm back, um, it did rain, the heavens opened. Um, I think it's just stopping again now actually but um, yeah I've got a few good shots uh, with this little um, Panasonic Lumix FZ200. Um, again this is another one of my little eBay bargains. I might do a separate video on this one actually, but it's very, very versatile. It's, um, I think, uh, 25 to 600 mil equivalent um, and f2.8 as well. So it's a very useful little tool. I shot most of the images at about f8. Um, it, like I say, it wasn't particularly nice out there. Some of the areas I was shooting in were a little bit, um, a little bit sort of dark and bright. So I underexposed a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I was quite pleased with the results. Uh, I'll post some images up in just a moment. So have a look at those. Let me know what you reckon. Um, I did get a little bit of footage, which you've probably already seen, but not too much, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it was uh, that was a good little exercise. Wasted uh, wasted an hour or so, and it was nice to go out and um, and shoot something a little bit different with the Panasonic. So uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video and uh, catch up with you soon. Bye now.